welcome to another technology video. So today we're going to be talking about PFSense uh, version 245 um, and the fact that um, since we've been running it for about the last couple of weeks we have experienced um, really high latency, lots of packet loss and therefore it makes the internet uh, here at home um, very unstable and obviously the family have been moaning like mad at me so what i wanted to do today was just to show you the sort of um, issues that we've been getting so um, i've set up a uh, monitor on our connection and um, what we've got here is basically since we've been running uh, pfsense 245 if we have a look at this you can see here that the yellow spikes are masses amounts of latency the red at the top uh, swinging down is packet loss and as you can see here uh, this was a reboot of the pfsense box um, to try and overcome it but as you can see throughout the day it just got gets progressively worse the blue is the average latency so as you can see the average is well over 100 and it was making things completely unusable so that went on for a few days uh, again um, as you can see round on the right here uh, a lot of latency a lot of packet loss sort of round about uh, just before 10 o'clock in the evening so uh, this is when um, my son's got the Xbox on and potentially there's streaming going on as well so uh, it, it was unworkable basically so I did a bit of research on this to try and work out what it was um, there are lots of people discussing it on forums but unfortunately no one's managed to come up with a fix for 245 um, it has been acknowledged by the uh, PFSense team and they are actively working on a fix so whether we will see a 245 SP1 coming out shortly I don't know um, or maybe the uh, version 250 um, is going to incorporate fixes however um, we couldn't wait so what we've had to do is to go ahead and downgrade our PFSense box so we are now running at 2.4.4 SP3 um, and since we've been running it um, I'll just show you the graph there's not a huge amount of traffic to go on because I've only just uh, done it this morning but as you can see here um, you can still see all the latency on 245 and then the red outage here this morning was uh, the downgrade to 244 and since then you can see there is absolutely no packet loss um, and latency is well within manageable levels. This little spike here was uh, reconfiguring of the WAN interface but since then uh, over the last hour there's been no la high latency at all. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at what we've got set up in terms of our packages so we are running exactly the same as we were before so um, previously we were running pfsense with pf blocker ng that's the devil version so that's the latest version of that and we've got some um, uh, We've got some port forwarding for uh, some of our backup systems that we run here and all the other things that we've got is the standard stuff so um, that is the DNS resolver and DHCP server. We've also got um, UPnP running um, for, the, uh, for the Xbox um, but apart from that, that is all and as you can see here um, our getting no packet loss at all it's there's nothing nothing to uh, to report back on that and the version we're running is 244 release p3 so um, that is the only fix currently so unfortunately you're going to have to wait for um, the various teams to fix this but it does appear that what you can do on a vm version is you can set your vm to use a single core um, and that will overcome the problem so they're still not sure on exactly what the problem is whether it's to do with table sizes um, we don't think so but um, as I said the, the only fix for us was to downgrade to 244 so that's all there is to that video unfortunately there's not a huge great uh, um, amount of stuff to talk about um, as I said since we've downgraded we've had no problems at all we're going to be keeping an eye on on this 
to make sure that we don't start seeing latency creep up in this. But I'm really happy with the outcome of this um, because uh, my wife was she was trying to do Zoom calls with her school. Um, my son's trying to trying to um, play his games on his Xbox, and uh, to be honest, I was getting a bit of a sore ear where uh, where they were going on at me. So uh, I had no choice but to do something drastic, and that drastic measure was to downgrade, and that's fixed all of the problems. So if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you've got any comments, leave them down below in the description. We'll get back to you on that. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future updates. But apart from that, all I've got to say is thanks for watching.